Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Bill. Oh, it feels like a long time to get to this point right here. Uh, I grew up in this town. Uh, my first house was on Church Street, just a few blocks from here. And then we moved to Moses Street, right down the street from where Bill and his family uh, lived. Uh, went to Moore Street School, Melbourne Junior High School. Uh, spent my afternoons walking to the library. Went to high school and graduated. There's something about this town that gets inside of me. And it makes you feel connected to the people and the geography of this place. I've had so much support from my family and friends over the years. And whenever I was a young man and I had a decision of where to make my life, I had opportunities to live in other places and other parts of the country, and I did for a while. I tried it out. And after a few years, I had to discuss with my family and say, you know, I'm at the point now, I've got to make a choice of where to live. Am I going to make my home on the far side of the country, or am I going to come back home to Dublin? And at that time, I decided that I needed to return home to my roots, to my family, to my community. And I did that almost 20 years ago. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Um, at that time, uh, Double was not quite like it was now. Um, I was fortunate that my family had a business that I was able to go into and work for many years. But what a feeling to come back home and become a part of a small town, a place where each of us can make a difference, where each of us has a contribution where we can see the results of our actions. Uh, sometimes we can see it in the buildings, sometimes we can see it in the streets, in the, in the buildings, in the businesses, but we can definitely see it in our relationships, in our friendships, and the strength that we're able to draw from our families and friends and our neighbors. So for many years, uh, I've uh, worked in town until I finally met my soulmate. <laughs> Victoria, uh, who has really set the stage for everything that has happened over the last 10 years. Um, Victoria has been a huge part of my life and was really the inspiration for making this one for me. Um, so I appreciate everything that you've done and everything that you made today. Um, so whenever somebody asks me, why are you running for mayor? Um, you know, it's obvious I, I love this town, I love this place, I grew up here. But the real reason is uh, the people that aren't listening to the speech. They're the ones behind you back there. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that are more interested in going to football and playing with each other. I have three children. Um, many of you have children. Um, some of them are grown. Some of them have come back. Some of them haven't. My great ambition and my desire is that my children will have the opportunity to come back to Dublin and find it a wonderful place to live, where there are businesses that are thriving, where the, there are restaurants to go to, there are activities to do, to a beautiful town, the people who are united, the people who see a common purpose in life. That's what I want, is I want that opportunity for my children. Um, I want them to be able to experience what it's like to be in a small town and to get connected to family and community. But that doesn't just happen. It requires our work and our participation. We all have a job to do to make that possible. And the job that we do is different from person to person. Uh, some people have certain skills and other people have other skills. And whatever those are, that's what you've got to contribute. Once you take care of your, yourself and you have the strong in your, in your own self, and then you take care of your family, your family is strong, then it's time for you to start taking care of your community, your neighborhood, the people around you. And I've been very fortunate that we're building a strong family. And so I do think it's my duty to try to contribute to the overall community. Um, it's something I've worked on the last two years behind the scenes with downtown. Um, and let me just say that sometimes you look at downtown and you see the, the big shiny projects. Uh, the $5 million renovation of the skyscraper, the corporate building, 
uh, the Henry Building, uh, the plazas, Jackson Plaza, Bicentennial Plaza, the Carnegie Renovation. And those are all wonderful projects that have happened in the last five years. But as Tara knows, before that, we spent three years cleaning the streets, fixing broken street lights, having a downtown cop on the beat, walking the streets, um, putting flowers out, basic beautification, hard work. Everyday kind of things that it takes to set the stage for your great projects, for your good projects. So I'm not under any illusion that uh, if I get elected mayor the next day, these amazing things are going to happen. All I can commit to you is that if I'm elected mayor, I will work every day on the small things to make sure that every time you turn the faucet, the water comes out. When you call the police, somebody shows up to help you. If there's a fire, you've got qualified firefighters who respond. If we keep doing the small things right over and over again, then the great things will come naturally. So that's what I commit to you is to do the small things. Uh, I'm a person who likes to work hard and get results. And that's what I pledge to do um, if I'm privileged enough to be elected as leader of, of Dublin. This world is in a difficult place right now. There are so many divisions in our society. Uh, there's a lot of tension going on, and there's no use to pretend that there's not. But I do believe that we share a common humanity that supersedes all of that, and that on our local level, what matters more than what group you belong to, what identity you have, what matters more than all that is who your family is, who your friends are, who your neighbors are. And if we can put that first in this town, we'll be doing just fine. A strong nation is not built from the top down. The strong nation is built from the bottom up, starting with us, our families, our neighborhoods, and our communities. So that's what we got to work on, the small things. I, I do believe that we are created to be in relationships. Um, our first relationship is with God. And then God reflects through us in our relationships to others. So part of what I see as community is a divine purpose in reflecting our relationships out to those around us. So even though this is a political race, there are going to be issues about how much money you can raise, how many votes you can get, which people are going to support you, which people are going to support the other person. In the end, that's not what's important. What's important is that we continue to reflect God's will for our relationships with our friends, our families, and our neighbors. So that's the purpose that I have in this race, and that's the attitude I'm going to take from now until November. And with your support, I hope that we can come out on top.